We begin by opening a new case and we choose a fluid package. So for this particular example, we're going to use the Pang Robinson property package. The components will be methane, oxygen, nitrogen, water, and CO2. And if we have a look at our binary coefficients, you can see that they're all specified. So that's good. In the reactions tab, we can add our reaction. So the type of reaction we're going to add is a conversion reaction. So we need to enter in all of the components that will take part in the reaction and their stoichiometric coefficients. So if we enter all these correctly, we should end up with zero balance error here. Our base component is methane and the reaction phase is set to overall. We're going to put 100% conversion for C0 and zero for the coefficient C1 and C2. So then we should have the green ready sign here. Close that. So when we look at our reaction sets, we want to add in set one, reaction one. And then we want to add our global reaction set to the fluid package and that should show up here. So now we can enter our simulation environment and the first thing to do is add a reactor of type C from the general reactor. So general reactors are here and this is type C, a conversion reactor. Now we want to add a feed stream. We can do that by dragging this icon in or we can just type in feed stream here. We'll see that that's here. We want to set the temperature to 25 degrees Celsius and the pressure to 100 kilopascals. And in the composition, instead of working in mole fractions, we're going to work with mole flows. And the molar flows that we'll put in are 100 kilogram moles per hour methane, 400 for oxygen, and then 1504.6 for nitrogen. So we press normalize and OK. And the uh, indicator should come up as green to say that that stream is now fully specified. So we can close that. Our reactor needs to have two outlets, a vapor outlet, which we'll call gas product, and a liquid product. So now that we have both of those, we need to tell the reactor what reaction is occurring. So here on the reactions tab, we add our global reaction set and then the particular reaction is reaction one, which is the only, only reaction we set up. If we go back here, we're gonna call this a methane burner. And our system is now fully specified.